This is Dazzle U. Wolf entity caught on camera. This wolf face appears to be holding a sideways stick that is in the air. I also caught several other faces on go over the whole video and make sense of the whole thing. I catch many of these by doing video graphs as I follow the sticks and formations of Bigfoots. I actually recently told a friend that I go to his property, but what I do is I know how to track them and I follow the sticks and formations of Bigfoot thereafter. There are other faces that appeared, like the little one in the lower left, and actually two or three other possible Bigfoots in this. The entity is for sure as the trident stick is sideways and it is in the air. The stick is in the air. And it is holding the stick with its snout. The sideways tridents are something I've been investigating and I've always noticed Bigfoots around them. I'm going to go into the details of this footage and see you can see several other Bigfoots or possible Bigfoots. But I do know for sure that despite the cone heads, the glowing eyes, that this entity is real. The stick that is holding in its mouth is up in the air. There are several little glowing gleams around it. And the face, you can see no body to it. There is no body to the face. The wolf entity caught on video on Dazzle You. So like I said, the three things to notice is that the Y, or sideways Y, I call them sideways. They're like trident sticks. It's in the air. There's no body to the wolf face. And it is holding the stick up around the trees. It is around the two trees, left and right. The whole face is holding it, and it's, you can see its beak and holding it in its mouth. It's, it's part of a piece of important information of their structures. As I investigate many that look like stars and other formations, and I follow them, some have really big black eyes, and I do believe that this was one looking at me, messing with me, and one of its eyes was glowing. They do have some weird things, but this wolf entity was for, for, for real. You can see the whole video slow down several times. There could be a possible one underneath with two glowing eyes, but the wolf entity is holding this trident stick that is sidewise in the air. Now I've caught many Bigfoots investigating these things and I don't just go out in the woods looking for them. I try to see if there are any signs first and then I go and follow that and that's how I eventually lean on to tracking onto Bigfoots. Now some people go in tactical ways. Some I tend to say hello but sometimes I have to use my wits as I've been called aliens, how to escape some big ones with the red eye beast, and I have several Bigfoots, like spies like us. One thing you didn't know is the little left arm sticking out around the tree on the left, not only in the big one in the middle. This one here, you can see the entity. What's that big black thing back there? Way up high, 10 feet in the air. That's not a stump with two eyes and a big white mouth. Look at the entity, E nut. African angel that is just a spirit in the heart that just dazzle you. Okay, so there are three other possibles. A little head that appears, a cone head on the mm -hmm. bottom. I'm going to point them out to you. This guy in the middle has been looking at me for a while. This is actually the video. If you hear the sounds of three faces in my video, it's totally awesome. It's one of my favorite videos. You can hear the sound of the call slow down, and it sounds like a zoo and things whistling, okay, going off. 
All right, this trident stick, see, it's on both sides of the trees. It's in the air. I investigate several of these. They're in my videos. So when you see this and when I identify this in one of my videos, I've caught one in Blinking Sasquatch. I've caught one in my main big video has one. I've caught one in um, several videos. I mean, this one is another one, three faces. I caught one with the sideways Y. And then the other one was the open range where the alien is. Okay, so these sideways Ys, they're up in the air and they're sideway Ys. I call them sideways, not tridents that are up in the air because they're literally in the air. Hanging in the air. I mean, look at them. They're sideways. In the air. And I always see a Bigfoot around them. Now, this shot, I know it's a little close and it's getting a little pixelated by now, but you can see my sweetheart in there that is totally interested in me. The whole real picture is a lot better, but you know. Um, here's the wolf entity, you know, the, the eye, the ones, they all come together in this collage from investigating this. They're all in one picture. There's a little cone head below him. There's this guy with two little gleaming eyes, his big white straight mouse that I see. See the gleaming stuff behind him? It's holding the sideways Y around this formation that I investigated. There's probably a couple, actually a couple more heads I'm not even pointing out. And this is just a very small clip because they're all around these formations, but we can't see them. See, I can barely see them painting around with my camera and just looking in the woods. You can't see them, but it's holding the stick up in the air. I caught it. I said, it's a big white thing. That wise, it's like a power um, device or like a trident. So in Colorado, they point them up in the sky. They either climb the trees with them or they use them up towards the sky because of elevation. But down in the Florida, they go sidewise because it's lower elevation. The wolf entity is holding it up to um, make the little glitter and stuff that it's making behind that. And they're all around. I think they duck and they hide themselves. Um, glowing eyes or whatnot, but I know the wolf entity is totally, totally real. This is from Three Faces, but you know, there's more than three faces in this. This is a clip that I just caught at least five other faces. And there's this conehead one down here in the bottom that interests me because you're going to see the head kind of move. If you go real slow in the video, which I slow it up to about three to five times, you'll see the head. It starts off with this, and then this is one I didn't catch, and there's probably like two or three other ones. Maybe in this little, you know, 10, 30 seconds clip, the wolf entity is holding the trident right around the structure. I zoomed into it. Come down here, and his head down here moves. We'll look at it a few times, and... We'll see what we can capture from the wolf entity. I mean, there's a lot of paranormal things, but what is it? I think it's a wolf. It's a ghost, but how scary is this story really getting with capturing entities on video while you're trying to go bigfooting? You have seen a lot of my videos, um, and I do it all by videographing. I go back through my footage and I hit pause and I just zoom around until I look until I see something positive. I write off about 80% of my stuff. But this wolf entity as we're in these types of things, you're learning this with me as I'm doing it because I learned everything I know or a lot of things I know by doing these projects afterwards. And then I learned how to blend it in. And then I paint it, and sometimes I miss, sometimes I don't miss, I, sometimes I do know, but I, overall, I catch the footage anyway. But the ones I really experience, and I'm really just caught in, but the other times I have to use my smarts to get away. I had to get away, I was surrounded here, there's five or six of them. There's other ones, and it, sometimes it's scarier the more you know, because it's like the more that you know about them, and you show them about them, the more and more that gets real in there as the time you're in the woods and it's scary the house come right into your ears it's like they're talking to you i'm whistling in my ear almost a few times and other things too but you know 
are you ever going to see structures like that or you know what's really going on with um with all of this you know when we're going big footing well they're sideways wide it's like a power thing they use they make some kind of orbs or something with energy i think uh, they hide they're really weird very strange now some of them have really big eyes but you know some of these other ones are catching them don't they look like monkeys and other things or look like monkey men's but smaller but now we're catching entities wolf entities dwarfs pixie elves all kinds of weird things and right around their structure so if you want to say that you're big footing you're going to get into something really weird you're getting into something really, really weird. And you got to go into the weird because that's what they like. And if you start to understand, you see this whole picture of all of them coming in to this clip where the face with the gleaming eyes looking at me, the wolf entity is holding the thing. The structure is over me that I'm standing underneath it. This little one's hiding on the left. The other one's gleaming eyes doing something with the paws. There's another one actually disappearing between the trees. I like to slow down and mask and put it over one of my tapes. But, you know, I'm not going to do all that to you. I'm just going to point out the ones that I can. And this beautiful wolf entity caught on video on Dazzle You. It's holding up the structure again, the other face in there. I mean, there's two or three of them. You can catch almost all of them in a short clip of the video. Two, two, and the one lower. The cone head. I hope y'all enjoy it. The wolf entity, paranormal stuff. Check it out.